Objects are collections of polygons that share transform information, or their rotation, translation, and scale information. They're handy because they allow us to deal with many polygons grouped into an easily accessible bundle. In this tutorial, we'll explore objects' properties, including the pivot point. Then we'll demonstrate how any selection of polygons can make up an object. Finally, we'll show how many objects can build complicated models. Six quad polygons make up this object. It's named cube. Its pivot point is the place that it's rotated and scaled from. Here we're moving or translating the object in 3D space. The computer uses the numbers to position the objects. An object can also be rotated, here on X, Y or Z. These numbers represent angles, so 360 degrees would be one full rotation. Mathematically, the rotations aren't always as simple as they seem. Under the hood, the software packages are either calculating in Euler or Quaternion mathematics. But we don't need to worry about this. It's easy to grab the manipulators and rotate the objects as we please. Next, we can scale the object. In this case, 1 represents 100% of the object when it was built. So 2 equals 200%. Objects can be scaled on each of their three axes to squash and stretch their shape. The placement of the pivot will affect how each object is rotated and scaled. Here, we're rotating the cube with its new pivot placement. Now, we're scaling. So by combining translation, rotation and scale, we can place objects in a variety of positions and sizes. And this is the same for any type of object. Here is an object named Plane. It's made up of a hundred triangle polygons. Let's look at it from above. We can divide this object into two new objects. It's completely arbitrary what polygons we use. Here, we've called the small object Little Square and the bigger object Big Piece. See how the little square now has its own pivot point and transformations. So here, let's make two new objects out of Big Piece. Keep in mind that polygons do not have to physically touch each other, so we can make one object out of this selection and call it Jaggy Bits. The remaining object can be called Middle Section. Let's remove the object called Middle Section. Now we can see the object called Jaggy Bits and how its polygons aren't touching. This chair is a single object. But objects can also be made up of a collection of smaller objects. Here this chair is made of two objects, left chair and right chair. This chair is made of many objects. In this case, each object equals each part of the chair. It's up to us to choose how we want our objects to be arranged. It's really what's easiest for us to use. This lawnmower was created with 183 objects placed into a hierarchy. We can find out more about hierarchies in the next section.